Yahoo! It's a Mario time! Thank you for tuning into Duck Bricks, and today, to celebrate the launch of the Super Mario Brothers movie, we are taking a look at every single LEGO Super Mario set ever made combined in one massive layout. But one quick thing first, I will not be including these special character packs. You can see some of the many different blind box or blind bag character packs lining my walls right here on the top and on the sides, and mostly the reason for that is, well, to be completely honest, I already have my own display plays set up for them and I don't really want to have to take them all down and get them mixed up and have to put them all back. So right here you can see my nice display of all of the different character pack builds but now it's time to really get into things. Let's go ahead and take a look at every single one of these Super Mario sets because there are a ton to look at here. In case you aren't aware, LEGO to this date has released hundreds of LEGO Super Mario sets and they all center around a specialized electronic figure, Mario, Luigi, or Princess Peach, which was the most recent one released last year. All of these electronic figures are built around a massive game board system, which allows you to scan barcodes, allowing you to play a certain time-based game to collect the most coins in a given course and reach the end before the time runs out. It's a really interesting strategy and I'm gonna get this out of the way right now. Yeah, I like everybody else wishes that they did minifigures, if not instead of these sets, at least as well as these sets. But as of right now, there are no rumors of minifigure based Mario sets on the horizon. I'm recording this pretty early because I'm scheduling this to release around the movie, so maybe rumors have changed. But as far as I know, we don't really know if we're going to be getting minifigure Mario stuff in the future. But I really do think that LEGO needs to give us minifigure scale Mario sets. I think the time is right to give us something like that. But as of right now, let's now just take a look at all of the course builder sets and see what amazing courses we can play for this Super Mario celebration. Let's -a go. Okay, so here we have literally every single LEGO Super Mario set they have released to date. It is currently March of 2023. And this is everything. This is pretty much all of the course builder sets. We have gotten a whole host of different themes from Peach's Castle to Mushroom Kingdom to the kind of the Luigi's Mansion ghost type of stuff. We have some water adventures, ice adventures, lava adventures, a lot of Bowser's Castle and lava stuff. So here's the thing. All of these have been basically sitting in this drawer for the past few years. And I just took them all out. But the thing is that they're all kind of broken up because anybody who has experienced the Lego Super Mario theme or sets before knows that honestly they're not really that stable and they're not meant to be stable. The whole point of the set is that they are courses and they're course builder sets. For instance, I literally just have a ton of these two by whatever plates sitting around because you use these to collect different segments or to connect different segments to each other. So the problem here is that, well, I honestly don't remember how every single set goes together. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pull up images of each set and try to actually get everything together. I'm not really going to try to bother on getting each and every set separately because again, we are trying to combine all of them into one massive course, but this isn't the course. This is just a jumble. So wish me luck because I'm going to have to figure out how all these functions work. And here's the thing. We have three different characters here. If we zoom in here, we've got Lego Mario. Lego Luigi, and Lego Peach. So we've got three of the digital characters and they, uh, they all have the different kind of gyroscopes in them and you can play around with them and they all connect to the app. So they connect to the app via Bluetooth and the way it works is that if you haven't experienced these before, I mean, if you do a random course, like let's say this, this looks pretty complete, for example, you stomp on enemies, so you take one of the characters, you get coins by defeating enemies, and there are a series of puzzles that you need to do. So for example, this one, it's being blocked, so you kind of go like this. There you go, you beat him, and then you can get this. So that's how all the puzzles generally tend to work. There's always some sort of a gimmick, some more complicated than others, and we will be taking a look at pretty much every single gimmick throughout the course of this video. A lot of them are actually really cool and really interesting. Like this one, for instance, you've got like the track pieces which have a roller coaster moving around. You also have different outfits for Mario and Luigi and Peach, so they did sell some of the outfits separately. So I'm gonna try to set aside all the outfits as well because each of the outfits does something different. Like you have a B outfit, 
outfit, which I guess lets you swing him through the air and collect coins while flying. You have a frog outfit, which lets you collect coins by jumping. You have a penguin outfit, which I think lets you collect coins by sliding on your belly. There's a lot of outfits to equip here, and there's even some special buildings that give you outfits. Like this one right here, for instance, is one of the uh, ones that came out last year, 2022 summer. And the whole point behind this one is that as you can see, as you move the platform in and out, the outfit will actually deploy. So that's kind of the cat suit outfit, so you can go upwards. You have a penguin suit or maybe an ice suit right here. So lots of different outfits, lots of different enemies, like you've got the big bad island here. And I'm going to need to figure out how all this goes together. So let's just try to get these into some semblance of a course. And we'll check back in after that time lapse. Let's go. One quick thing as we get started here, I will not be featuring the question mark block, which you can barely see right there, as well as the mighty Bowser set in this massive course, because they're not really course sets, they're kind of their own standalone thing. The same goes for the massive TV and NES, which you can see all the way in the back there, while they do have some sort of integration with the actual Mario figure. As you can see, most of these sets did have a little bit of a place where you could scan a barcode. They're not really course builder sets, and I already have pretty much enough space to handle on the table already. We're running out of space, putting all the sets on there, so I just don't really have room for these one-off things, but you can see them right here if you're curious. Brickset.com, which is the database for all LEGO sets, counts there to be 134 LEGO Super Mario sets. Although it does split up each of the individual blind bags and blind boxed figures into separate listings, and also lists some specialized sets that combine multiple sets together in Super Packs. All in all, there's probably around 100 or so different sets here, and it was no small feat taking all of them out of my shelves and displaying them in one massive layout with respect to individually packaging things in different biomes and making the progression feel like you're going from a more friendly area to a more dangerous area as you go from one side of the table to another, but eventually, luck prevailed and we were able to get every single one of these sets miraculously fitting on just this entire surface. LEGO Super Mario launched in 2020, and we still have not had any minifigure sets to date. All of these sets are based around this electronic, not quite a board game, not quite a video game experience. It's a really interesting way to sell different LEGO sets as expansion packs. Clearly, some are a lot more popular than others, but you can't deny they look really awesome when fully combined with each other, and I really especially like taking this photo from two different angles where you can see almost like a darker side of it for the villains, and then a brighter side for the heroes. Now, full disclosure, I literally know nothing about Mario. I have never played a Mario-related game in my life. I guess I've played Super Smash Bros. with friends, but nothing really like that other than like Mario Kart games at arcades. So I know the general names of most of the main characters. I'm probably going to say a few things wrong during this. Actually, I definitely will, so please bear with me. I know there's going to be a lot of folks in the comments saying, oh, you named this character wrong, or this and this item is something else. So my apologies, so just wanted to say in advance, I am first and foremost a LEGO fan. I am not the biggest Mario fan, but I am a fan of modular LEGO sets. And when themes put out multiple different sets that can connect to each other, which is why I wanted to get all of the Mario sets for myself and connect them. So a lot of this video will just be me playing through the course, but of course, let's introduce the course itself now and let's a go. So to recap, we'll start off here from the tubes with Mario. He'll go around exploring a little bit. We'll have some fun in the clown cars and we'll maybe just even take a nap on the hammock. Then we'll venture into Mushroom Kingdom. We have some of the mushrooms set up here and some more of them set up here surrounding the Princess Peach's castle. We'll go through, we'll find a couple enemies along the way, but mostly just make our way over to the main castle gates where we can see that instead of Peach being on the throne, there actually is an imposter, where this set actually has a pretty cool function, where if you slide things forwards, you'll notice that the whole throne spins around and reveals that Bowser has taken over the castle, he has changed the castle to his nefarious color scheme, who wants all that purple everywhere, and now it's up to us to make our way over to his castle and defeat all his minions, and inevitably he'll have to run back and be the final boss fight. So after having a bad time in the poison with Mario here, we're going to exit the castle and go on out to begin our journey. Starting off, we'll start with some of the nicer and easier areas, specifically around the beach front here. The beach is nice. We like to stay in the beach. So we'll fight some enemies over on the beach here and have some battles going on like this. And after we pass through the beach, we'll move on to the cloud areas. We'll still be using Lego Mario, so Mario will venture on over to the cloud areas. He may hitch a ride on the Royal Blimp there or the Hot Air Balloon, 
and will start to get up in the sky to fight some of the enemies up in the clouds. Of course, though, the clouds will eventually lead to the frozen icy wilderness. So these are the icy mountains. We'll get into the snow-packed areas here. So there's only a few kind of snow-related things, but we'll need to gear up. We'll equip some of the suits to go here. And once Mario is through with the snow, you can see he's in the snowy area there. We then will go completely differently and shift over to the desert. So the beaches give way for the sand of the beaches, give way to the desert here. We'll face some more enemies. There's like a pokies thing here. We're going to have to hit the hammer to knock over some of the different segments of this character here like that. So that's how this is going to work. And we're going to make our way through the desert overall. So once we're through the desert, then we start getting to the real dangerous areas like the poison swamps here. So this purple area is the poisonous area. This is going to be one of the main most dangerous areas we're going to be in. It's still a natural environment, so it's not actually one that's going to hurt us as badly as some of the other ones. But once we make it through the poison stuff, then we hand it off to Luigi. Now, Luigi will be waiting right over here because it will be time for Luigi to enter his mansion. And we'll pick up with Luigi. Oops, I dropped him right there. But we will be picking up with Luigi right at Luigi's mansion. We first need to equip ourselves with the special ghost hunting suit in order to be able to even fight some of the poltergeists. We go in here first. We fight some of the ghosts. Then we go on out, fight King Boo in his haunted yard. But then it will be time to actually go into the main Luigi's mansion itself. So... This is the main entryway. We will enter the gate here, have the doors open mysteriously for us and close it shut. And that will be the mansion area that we will be fighting King Boo once again in his main haunted mansion. Of course, exploring the entire mansion corridor. So we'll be going in here and kind of looking at where we're going to go in the mansion itself. From there, it's time to face one final bastion before defeating Bowser and entering his own territory. This is the guarded fortress here. We really just have to make our way through the castle gates, and then Peach will take it from here. Now with the path cleared, Peach shall actually be able to go and face Bowser herself. And she will be doing the most dangerous part of all. Peach will be going through these whole lava areas. So the burning lava, like so, that is very, very hot. You don't want to be standing on that. And making our way through, finding all the different armed guards guarding Bowser here. Until we make our way all the way up to Bowser's airship. First of all, we have to face some of the enemies here. So this thwomp will be fully set up. And we have to fight our way through his airship and assume command of the airship itself. Once we have assumed command of the airship, it will be time to face Bowser in his main castle boss fight. So after we make our way through the enemies, it will be time to fight Bowser himself. And only once he's defeated, and once every single person who has ever worked for him at all in their lives is dead, then we will have peace. No, there is no surrendering. We do not take prisoners. We will be soundly defeating and killing every single enemy. Because if they're associated with Bowser, they gotta go. For there be peace on this side of the kingdom. So let's gather our trio and get to work because we have a lot of enemies to fight. Bowser's minions aren't going to get defeated on their own. And it's going to be up to Mario, Luigi, and Peach to cleanse the kingdom of all of Bowser's evil minions. Okay, so here we have every single LEGO Super Mario set ever made all connected together in one massive layout. And I actually put a lot of thought into this and tried to group things together in different biomes, going from kind of more peaceful areas over to the more dangerous areas. Now, one thing that I've done is that every single piece has been connected by Lego plates. So there is no standalone block here. Every single thing, as you can see, each of these blocks are connected to each other. Whoops, except for that one, which I just knocked off which I just kind of stuck on the side. But other than this one hammock, which I just didn't really have a spot for, every other thing is fully connected, everything by plate. So you can see each one of these. Bowser's airship doesn't really connect by plate, so that's kind of on its own. But especially as we get into the lava region, I made sure to connect every single one of the lava-oriented pieces all by different plates where the goal is to be able to go along the course. So to start over here and work our way all the way across the course over to here. So let's take a quick look at the way that I've set these up. So first of all, we have the main Mushroom Kingdom here. We have Peach's Castle because I think that makes the most sense to be the location to start with. This is the one where obviously you kind of start from this place and go forwards. And of course, directly across from us is Bowser's Castle. And it's actually really cool because you can actually stand here. And then if you're looking like right from Peach's Castle, you can see the entire course leading outwards all the way straight to the enemy on the other side Bowser 
right here. So there's an entire course. This is a lot of fun to set up. And once you go over from the Peach's Castle, you can kind of exit the castle. You can see there's a lot of Mushroom Kingdom stuff here. And the way I've oriented it is that these ones are all kind of facing this way. So this is the front and that's the back. And then as you transition halfway through, you kind of have them facing each other. So now the front is there, back is there. Now the front is here as we get to the kind of more dangerous parts of things and they're facing that way. So it's almost like two factions that are facing each other in the way that it's set up. So obviously there's been a lot of different Mushroom Kingdom type sets they've put out. So you have a lot of the different houses here. So this is kind of part of the main one. I didn't actually segment things just by sets because honestly we don't have the space to have the entire set sprawled out. So what I did is I broke down each set into just the individual components like the single little Mushroom Kingdom house here. And I tried to set them up in different ways. So here we have kind of a little bit of a smaller village. We've got like the Comic-Con exclusive set here with which is one of the smaller houses. And you have one of the larger ones like the red mushrooms over here. Now, moving onwards, we're still in the peaceful area. You know, there's maybe some enemies, like some ice attacks and whatnot, but for the most part, we're, we're in the peaceful zone. We go out and we start to go into a little bit more dangerous territory, but it's still fairly nice. I mean, there are some enemies that you need to defeat going in the clouds, but I mean, it's the clouds. It's pretty nice and comfy there. Nothing too crazy going on. You're not going to face any crazy big foes. And eventually you kind of also go to the beachside areas because you go from the clouds to the beach and obviously the beach is really nice. Sure, there's maybe some enemies that you need to fight like you've got the big urchin here but for the most part the beach is somewhere you go to relax but however going on from there you go into somewhat more dangerous territory because obviously the beach is kind of made out of sand and eventually that gives way to the desert so we have a variety of different desert themed activities and expansions here from the desert pokey challenge to all sorts of like the the monty mole kind of hiding in there and all of these are the more dangerous kind of adversaries you'll find in the desert you're not quite in the peak danger zone yet but you're getting there i mean the desert is a pretty inhospitable place and the same can be said for the icy region. So what I figured is that when you're up in the clouds, then maybe you go over to the high up mountains and you're up in like the, the frozen glaciers here and you've got the frozen glaciers. And I'd say these are about the same difficulty level as the sandy regions where it's a pretty inhospitable place. It's not like an environment actively built to attack you, but it's a pretty bad place to be in if you just aren't really careful of what you're doing. So there's some enemies you have to fight, but then we start getting into the real danger because Going in from the desert area, we have the poison swamps here. So this is still a natural environment. So all of these environments are pretty much natural, but we have the poison swamps. This is a pretty toxic environment. This is an environment that actually will actively find ways to attack you and to kill you. So there's a whole poison area here from different piranha plants moving around to the wiggler here that you have to defeat. And my goal is to try to defeat basically as many enemies as you can from, you've got the chain, my chomper here, as well as some other kind of vicious vine enemies but then here's where we get to some of the actual danger here because we then start to enter Luigi's Mansion. So I'm not sure where these clouds came from, but Luigi's Mansion here. This is like a man-made sculpture, or I guess an enemy-made sculpture. This is something that is going to be very dangerous to traverse. And what I've tried to do is I've tried to hide little outfits that were kind of the little $10 outfit packs throughout the different sets to help you along your journeys. So for example, in the icy regions here, you would want to equip the penguin outfit to be able to kind of go along the ice. For some of the other areas here, you need like the cat outfit and the bee outfit to go flying in the clouds. But then here, what you're going to need is is first of all, you're going to need the ghost hunting outfit. So I would not recommend going into the ghost area until you actually equip the ghost outfit, which is why in kind of the general layout that I'm going here, you kind of go back and forth. So you start here and then work your way across like this. And as soon as you get here, you kind of have to do a little bit of a side quest. You have to go down this path here, go fight some of the ghosts, get your ghost outfit. But I wouldn't progress over to Bowser's castle yet. You just kind of want to get the ghost outfit, then get out. And then you kind of have to progress your way across. So you go through the King Boo's haunted mansion area here. So you fight him with the ghost outfit here. And then you can go through the Reznor knockdown challenge, which is not really a ghost type thing, but it's more of a mechanical opponent. This is something that is a pretty formidable structure but it's kind of just one of the obstacles on your way to get into the main mansion here. So then you get into the mansion and you kind of have to use the ghost sucking abilities to fight all the ghosts because otherwise you can't defeat them without that special outfit. But once you finally beat all the ghosts, you're awarded with another outfit. This is the Builder's Outfit. So this one will allow you, I believe, to maybe kill enemies easier, which you're going to need when you're going into this area here. 
And from there, you can work your way up to the Guarded Fortress. This is kind of the last bastion that you're going to have to face before getting into Bowser's territory. It is kind of not really quite in the lava zone yet, but I mean, you're starting to have some bubbling lava going through the middle, and you're starting to be able to face some kind of more dangerous enemies. It's the last kind of mini boss fight before the big one. And of course, in order to actually get into the fire area, you do need the fire outfit. So because of that, I have actually placed the fire outfit, it's somewhere around here, up ah, right here. So yeah, the fire outfit, you're gonna need to grab it and equip it here because you definitely are going to need this when you're going into the lava area to be able to withstand some of the damage that Mario takes when he's in the lava areas. But then it's full force. These are all the hardest enemies. You have a swath of enemies here. And I've actually specifically taken a lot of the Bowser affiliated enemies from the other builds and kind of brought them over here to make it feel like you're fighting off against all his guards and all of the waves of enemies. You've got like the, the thwomp drop here and then a big rock kind of creature as well. And then you have this newest set from a 2023, which is kind of one to slide back and forth until finally you get to the boss fight. Now this was one of the first Lego Mario sets released, but I think it makes sense to have this be the final fight because again, this is the final fight against Bowser himself. You come face to face with him. And now if you kind of come over here and look at the journey that you've taken so far, you can just see how it's almost kind of progressively gotten darker over the span of time. So you have a lot of the greens and the blues and whites over here. Then you get to yellow, purple, brown, dark brown, kind of the dark orange, and then red for the lava, red and blacks and grays, and it's really cool kind of seeing the color evolve over this particular point when you combine all of the different LEGO Mario sets. So enough talking about the track, I am now dying to do this. Now, the thing is that the way that the Mario figures work is that you can do two player, but you can also do it by yourself. And it actually does keep track of literally every single thing you scan over the course of one run. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly how this works. We're gonna be figuring out as we are rolling as well, because this is my personal first time actually really getting a chance to play around with a lot of these sets, to be honest. But I've actually managed to put all of these start containers here. I wanna start over here. Obviously you wanna start close to home. So you've got like a hammock to sleep in and this whole area with Mario's house. And all of these different green start containers have a different barcode. So I'm not really sure what the difference is between all of these different start blocks. But you know, we're gonna hit one and start. There are also ones that are timed. So this one is timed to get the highest number of coins that you can under a certain time limit. This one is timed for defeating as many enemies as you can in 30 seconds. And then this one is, I guess, a Princess Peach specific one. That's why they're yellow. We're not going to be doing any of the special ones right now. I really just want to see how, literally how many can we scan. Can we try to scan literally everything over the course of this entire track? So let's go ahead and do this. So obviously I think the first one to boot up is we're going to boot up Mario and just go ahead and turn him on here. It is Lego Mario time indeed. And we have the app up here. So the way that this works is that Lego Mario and Luigi and Peach all connect to the iPhone app or Android app. This is a Bluetooth app where you can see all of the different sets as well as obviously connect them via Bluetooth. So I'm going to hit connect and hit the Bluetooth button on the back of Mario here. There we go. Give it a few seconds to connect there. And usually it's pretty instantaneous, but it's gonna take a couple of seconds. There we go. So it looks like we are fully connected. Now you can add some more characters, but for this first run, I'm just gonna run it on just this one. So let's figure out exactly how we're going to do this. There's a couple different things you can do on the app. There's a few different play challenges, but I just want to see what can we scan and try to get the most stuff. So let me see exactly how this works here. A lot of these are set up for two player, weekly challenge, hidden bonus. Yeah, they've got like a lot of different challenges, but we don't want to do that. We just want to start a game and start scanning. So I think what we do is I'm just going to go over here and we're going to go ahead and just scan the beginning one. So uh, let's go ahead and start this off. I'm going to grab my phone so we can actually keep track of what we're scanning at the same time and see what we can scan. So let's do this. Okay, so we are we are started. Okay. Well, let's get these out of the way first. Scan a blue block here. We are going to ride the cloud car. So this is kind of a you swing him around and he gets coins. And then you have, okay, let's go ahead and talk to this character here. Got some more coins there. And this I think is just keeping track of all our stuff. So I'm not gonna hold on to my phone. We're gonna check it at the very end. 
scan this one here. Again, a lot of these are just pretty friendly people that you're just going around and meeting. We're in the friendly area. So we've got a question mark block. Let's see what it is. Ah, plus 15 something. Okay, we'll see. Now, there's some more challenges coming up. We're going to have to knock over this tree to be able to acquire the blue star block here. So I'm going to go ahead, scan that like so. So that is something that we've gotten. Now, what we're going to do is try and our first obstacle. So if we come around here, we actually have our first obstacle here. We've got some enemies that we need to defeat. So let's see if we can get this. Ah, there we go. So we got one. Got that one. There we go. There we go. We beat it. Okay. Now let's see what we can move on. We want to beat some of the fish here. So let's get this one here. Oh boy, so this is actually on a time limit. Oh, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. So the thing is, he's he's done. So this does not last forever. There is a specific time limit. Oh wow, and look at that. It shows all of the things that we scanned over the course of one run. So that is interesting. You can see like your enemies here. You talked to one of the characters. You did the cloud car. Obviously I scanned one of those. So this is it. I mean, you need to reach the end by, I mean, I don't know how long that was. That was 75 seconds. Can I change the time? Or is it always 75 seconds? Huh, I don't know. I may, maybe folks in the comments know how to do this more than me. I'd like to do it with unlimited time, but maybe that's not how this works. So we may just need to go quickly and see what we can hit in a short amount of time. Okay. Well, if this is a time thing, then, then this, this whole game has changed. Now it is a matter of how fast can we actually scan things. So let's say we've scanned most of this area. Let's move on and see what we can do. So I'm going to hit start. Okay, let's go. Yep. Okay, defeated this. We're going to stomp him. Got him. Okay, this one we're gonna go back and forth. Get some coins via that. Okay, here we're going to actually talk to Princess Peach. How do we activate this? Let me see, ah. Oh, so this whole area slides forwards, rotate around. Okay, so now we need to beat Bowser, who has somehow infiltrated the palace here. Okay, we got him, he's done. All right, we can sit in the throne. Now let's get in the kind of hot air balloon here. So we're scanning this. We have 13 seconds left. Okay, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, end. Okay, let's see how many we were able to scan there. So it says finished on the app. Okay, 60 coins, and it does list every single one we have done. There we go. So that is our summary of all the different things that we did. Pretty cool. Let's, let's check out some more. Let's keep on doing this. Well, that one was only 58 seconds. Oh, I guess because I finished like a little bit earlier. I hit the finish. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's, let's keep going. All right. So what we are going to do is we've done a lot of these and I do want to go in order. So the end's there, but I do want to kind of try to cover this in order. So let's start again and keep going. Three, two, one, go. 60 seconds. All right. Um, first of all, okay, let's, let's try this. Going to get a gift. Got a gift. Stomping an enemy. Got some coins. Talk to Yoshi here, scan a fruit, scan a fruit there, talk to our guy over here, attack enemy, get this here. All right, then we're gonna take the slider over here, and then this right here is a, another chat box. We're going to want to be able to scan this Okay, now this one right here is one you slide it back and forth. So what you want to do is you want to keep sliding it. Oh boy, we fell off and it detected that we fell off as well. But what you want to do for this is you keep sliding it 
until the enemy falls off there. And this is best done with two people. So I think this is, there we go. Ah, oh, we ran out of time. Okay, 51 coins, let's see what we scanned. All right, time's up. We didn't get the, the max, but we got a ton of different characters and we got a lot of stuff scanned. There you go. So that is interesting. It's cool how they actually have the digital blocks showing what each exactly you scanned here. So you have obviously moving back and forth. You have some fruits gathered. You have talking to Yoshi and then talking to going back and forth and defeating enemies. So that was our latest run. Let's see. I mean, this this is keeping track of all our runs. So it's saying how many coins we got. Let's see how many that we can get. So that was only a 60 second one. So maybe there are like, th is this one like 75 seconds? Let's see. No, that's 60 seconds as well. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we got this guy right here. Let's beat him. Already got him last time. Uh, let's get this enemy as well. All right, beat that one. Talk to this one. Okay, what else do we have to do over here? Um, Talk here. Ooh, swing. It's a nice swing. Okay. We've got a question mark block here to scan. And we have a new outfit as well. Oh, that gave us plus 15 seconds. Oh, wait. Can I just keep doing that? Hmm. We're going to put on this new outfit, which is some sort of cat outfit. Can I scan this again for another 15 seconds? Oh, no, that's just coins. Well, I'm just going to keep doing it until it gives me 15 more seconds. Maybe this is not the best use of time. Oh, this is like a superstar thing. Oh, maybe this lets you like beat enemies immediately. Okay. Oh, okay. This one's shooting some ice at me. Then we can get him here. Okay, we've got some there. Let's see. Uh, this one, we're going to talk to the penguin here. There we go. And here, this is going to rotate, so cause this to crash downwards. Ah, oh, we ran out of time! Okay, 59 coins. Still not as good as our initial bet, though. And that was with 15 more seconds. But that run, I wasted a lot of time trying to scan the plus 15 over and over again. So maybe, maybe it knows that, and that's why it wasn't giving it to me. So that's what we have here. Look at that. That was our latest run. Everything that we scanned... And there we go. So that was it. So we have the new outfit equipped, but I think we should try a different outfit. One thing that we didn't do yet was this uh, tower right here, the Cat Peach Suit and Tower. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna put this down over here and we are going to start again. So let's do this. 60 seconds, okay. That was a time, oh, plus 30. Can I just keep scanning this? Oh no, it, it knows I scanned it already. Shoot. Okay, let's deploy our outfit here. I mean, I guess these this doesn't matter, but um, we're going to get our outfit on. This is the cat outfit. So now we can use them to climb upwards and start to knock off some of the ice. So the ice gets knocked off here. Get this here, get them off here, and then we can scan the broomstick. So now with the ice over, we can Knock the broomstick off. Good. And with that done, we can free the trapped character here. Fantastic. Okay. Let's let's move on. Let's keep going. Gift here. Okay. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, we have this. Okay, so we want to launch and free the Goomba here. So we're gonna oh that was that was pretty anticlimactic. This is supposed to launch it. There we go. Okay. So that launches that. Okay, 15 seconds left, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, call it. Okay, let's see what we got, finished. Only 36 coins, oh man, that was not a good run. I guess it took a lot of time to like knock the ice off and stuff, okay. Okay, that was that run. Let's keep going until we've done every single one. Now, one thing I'm, I'm kind of curious, I mean, maybe when we get to the mansion, we'll do Luigi then. Um, but we are going to put away this outfit because this one we already tried. So let's just get this outfit 
back here. I guess like the hat's purely cosmetic. The hat doesn't really matter, but you know, I'll put it on just uh, for congruency because it makes sense to have the hat on and just put some of the outfits back here. And let's keep going. So we'll set aside the standard Mario outfit and I want to equip the penguin one for this particular run. Now the penguin one's cool because it does come with little arm attachments as well. So you kind of have uh, an ability for him to actually put the penguin arms on his arms there, which uh, yeah, that's pretty cute. I like that. And he has the penguin logo on like so. So let's try to get this started up here again. So I'm gonna go hit start. Oh, the arms are in the way. That actually could be quite a bit. 60 seconds, here we go. Scan the time block. Now this. Oh man, this is gonna be tricky. I'm, I'm trying to knock off this character here. We're gonna waste a lot of time doing this, but the whole point of this one is to wiggle it enough that he falls off. I mean, he's not really falling off, so I mean, we're just gonna cheat a little bit and just knock him off. There we go. Okay. Get a special thing here, and the penguin outfit lets us slide on ice. So, I think you go like this, and it senses that you're doing that. Yeah, okay, there we go. You hear the ice sounds. Now, we're gonna do a spinning thing here to dodge the bullets. I'm not doing a good job of dodging the bullets. I'm getting clobbered here in the face. <laughs> then, okay, let's talk to that character over there. Now we can go over to the beach area, which is the next one we said we were gonna do. Talk to Pink Yoshi over here. Uh, first off, okay, there's a flying outfit. So let's swap out the ice outfit, go for the flying outfit, go ahead, equip that. So now we can fly and get coins just by flying. So you can get coins just by doing this. He's kind of dizzy right now, but we got it. 13 seconds left. Okay, let's get the fruit. Come on, come on, come on, fruit. Get this, question mark. What are we gonna get, what are we gonna get? Time extension, come on. Time extension, please. No, we did not get a time extension, okay. Ah, did not scan it in time, shoot, okay. So we were, we were close. Did not manage to scan that endpoint in time though. This is actually a lot of fun once you actually start to get into the rhythm of it, but you can see right there, that is our score. That is how we did. So we got 21 coins. I'm getting worse. Although it took me a while to get the, the, the sumo smash like tower guy. It, it, come on, it took me a while to do that. So I will do that. Next up, okay, so let's save that. We are, that we are getting progressively worse over time, which is like not what we want to be doing. But let's, let's do this one more time. Start. Oh, I'm gonna take off the penguin hands because those are, those are getting in the way. Let's go ahead and start. We have the flying outfit on. 60 seconds. Time. Okay, um, what's next? Well, uh, beach, beach. Okay, so we got, we want to be able to destroy the sand castle to get, that's one. Where's number two? Two is here, two. Two, where's three? Ah, oh, three is over there. Okay, so we need to ride this. Oh my goodness, we are not gonna stay on this very well at all. Okay, three's been toppled over, so let's get three. One, two, three, fantastic. Now, this has been toppled, is there anything to scan? Yes. Is it scanning? It's not, this one isn't, oh, there we go. Scanning, scanning, okay. Question mark. Wow, these take a while to defeat. Oh, I think you need to hit them harder. Okay, interesting. Now this right here, you kind of have to balance between the plants. There we go, okay, so that was that. Is this a time extension? Come on. Yeah, come on, time. Plus 30 seconds, let's go. Made it to the swamps. Okay, another special thing. We're gonna knock him over, scan this. Got that.
scan that. This is a raft, I guess? So this allows us to traverse the toxic area. Okay, now we wanna do this part, which will deploy our bridge. There we go, bridge deployed. Okay, come on, come on, kill him. Got him, okay, 12 seconds left and end. Finished, okay, let's see, what did we get, what did we get? Sixty-four coins, not bad, not bad. I think that's the best we've done so far. So what gives the most coins? Oh, that gave a lot of coins. Okay, this gave a lot of coins as well. So we could do a run at the end where I just look at what gave me the most coins and do that again. Fifteen coins for the Wiggler one. Oh, okay. I might just spam on that. Like, what if I just did that the entire for like all sixty seconds? Let's try it. Well, you know what? Let's try that. Let's try that before I forget. We're gonna start. 60 seconds, here we go. Extra time, and we're just gonna spam this. We're gonna, we're gonna sit here for 60 seconds and just do this. Cause this gives the most coins, right? Is he even scanning though? Maybe there's a max. So I'm seeing the, the smashing logo. Okay, so I'm seeing the coins are coming in. Coins are coming in here. The other one that gave points was this one. This gave a lot. Okay, that was coins. Let's get this guy. Got coins, okay, so next, I mean, we got some time. Let's try this. Let's get our guy in position. You have this, and then you use this to knock him off. Come on. Oh, are we close on time? 15 seconds, uh, we don't wanna go into the ghost yet. Can we get anything else? Special coin, will this give us more time? Plus 30 seconds, okay, let's keep going. Got him. Okay, let's get this guy then. Okay, fantastic. So now we can actually mount ourselves on the Ferris wheel type thing here. Get some coins just by doing this. And we have 14 seconds left. Now we wanna get this. Okay, question mark block. Let's go, we can fly, we can fly. So let's fly over to here, scan. Finished, okay. Let's see how many that got. I'm curious. I'm very curious how many that got us. 133. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that spamming the purple thing just gave me 75. Although all this other stuff. Oh wow, okay. So 75 coins from that, 12 from that, 23 from that. Oh, that's pretty good too, given that I was on that one for pretty short. That's only five, so that's not even worth it, knocking it off. But standing on here to knock it off is worth it. Spinning on that, six coins. Okay, that was 75. That was a lot. Okay, but I won't just spam that because then that would be boring. So we'll do something else. I think it's time to change outfits too. So we haven't quite given ourselves the builder outfit yet, but I think that it's now time. Let me see. What else do we want to give us? What, did I miss any outfits along the way? I'm sure that there was like another outfit. Oh, the bee outfit. Let's put that on. I think that's featured in the new Mario movie. So let's put the bee outfit on. Yeah, so now we can fly around. Let's go ahead and get started. 60 seconds. Plus 30 seconds. Plus 30 seconds. Okay, what, what did we not do yet? Um, we may, oh, oh so, there's some stuff. It's not showing as I beat him yet. There we go. Now we wanna do these. Oh, that's wobbling a little bit, okay. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, this, did we even scan this at all? There we go. Oh, the noggin bopper, okay, let's get him. We 
We still haven't killed him, really. There we go, okay, we got him. What else, what else? Uh, can we give ourselves more time? No, we already scanned it, shoot. Okay, so it knows. Um, let's go on the raft a little bit while I figure out where we're going. I think that we've done pretty much everything here. It may now be time to go onto the ghosts. So we'll do the ghosts next round. Okay, we've got like some enemies here. Let's uh, get this guy here. Okay, that one was done. And, oh, another outfit. You know what, let's get the ice outfit because that's one of the new 2023 ones. This is the ice outfit here. Okay, so now we can slide along the ice. Just getting, getting coins from doing that, that's pretty good. Oh, this shoots snowballs. So this shoots snowballs at enemies. So let's say I scan this guy and I can shoot snowballs at him just by doing that. Okay. Got that one. It says to jump on this one hard. Did I run out of time? Shoot, I ran out of time. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, well, that's time. That was the ice outfit here. So let's see what we managed to get. Time's up. Okay, 72 coins. I wasn't trying to spam it this time. I was just trying to maximize stuff. It's got a lot of stuff just from flying around. Oh, the bee suit gave us a lot of coins, actually. Oh, interesting. So just going on these like pieces gives you coins. So just, it, it rewards you for going along the track, like going along these like two by whatever beams. So I will do that in the future. And we got a ton of enemies, Noggin Bopper, of course, and a lot from the B. Okay, interesting. Okay, I think it's time to switch over to Luigi and go into Luigi's mansion. So where is, where is Luigi? Ah, here he is. We're gonna turn off Mario here. And now we're going to connect Luigi. Come on, it's connecting. Okay, so we are connected. So what we're going to do is, as I mentioned previously, let, let's do the game plan here. I don't know if I can get all the ghost stuff at one point, but I'm gonna try to get the ghost stuff on this side. So this stuff and this stuff. If we have extra time, we can try to go over there, but that that is a lot of stuff to scan. And we didn't even get to the big bad island yet or use the frog outfit now that I see it. So what we'll do is ghost outfit here. Yeah, start with the ghost outfit, move our way here. For the next round, maybe we'll go here and then get the frog outfit. Use the frog outfit to jump back over here, grab the fire outfit. Oh no, we'll use the frog outfit in the guarded fortress, clear that. And then we'll come here, get the fire outfit, and then go into here. Maybe P uh, Princess Peach will go into this area. I think that'll be a good, a pretty fitting way to end things. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start with Luigi and start over here. Okay, so we're gonna start Pressing the ghost button. Got him. Okay, now we can press the ghost button. Oh, we got scared. Press the ghost button. Got that one. Let's get these ones. These aren't ghosts, so we can get them easily. that one flip the thing here get some coins and then we want to defeat King Boo so keep on going turning these come on come on come on come on we just need to get him out slow and steady come on he's getting further and further out but we are wasting time doing this ah I got him okay Get the special thing in the back, and then I'll use the ghost sucker. Let's press the button here. Okay. Talk here, and then, uh, you know, get some more coins. Why not? Why not? You know, just, just get, get a few more. Get some more time here. Oh, we're confused. We're dazed. Shook him too much. 30 more seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Main entryway. Main entryway. Okay, shoot this ghost. Got him. Okay, ghost sucker. Killed him. Okay. 
Golden Bone, Gift the Dog. There we go. Open this. Enter. There we go. The door is open. Can lock it behind us. Okay, we have 15 seconds left. It may be time to call it. Let's just call it, then we can continue the mansion later. Okay, what else do we have? Finished. How much did we get? 91, not bad. How many of those were me like spamming the wiggler though? 25 for that. Okay, five only. Okay, so this is pretty good. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, so defeating King Boo was a big one. I guess it took a while to get him, so that makes sense. You can't scroll down further. That's annoying. Okay. Look at all the different runs we've done. Let's keep going. We, we are almost through. We're at the mansion now, so I'm going to go ahead and start the mansion. 90 seconds. Let's go. Enter here. Close it behind me talk here. Now this one here, we actually need to get King Boo knocked off the platform. There. Okay. Activate the ghost sucker. Got him. Okay. Now the main mansion is here. So it's a couple different things. There's a whole, I guess this is some sort of Thing in the sink that I got, a green gem. I haven't played Luigi's Mansion, so I don't know what any of this stuff is. Another ghost here, let's get him. So, pressing the ghost sucker. Okay, we may need some extra time, so I know there was extra time somewhere around here. Ah, there. Got our extra time. Okay, we are going to enter this whole area here, spin around, and here. Let's see. Oh, this is the, oh, this is cool. This is like a whole like flipping over a table thing. So we've already got that. Okay. What else? What else? Oh, the bed. So jumping on the bed gives us something under the pillow. Another gem. Very nice. Anything else that we can get? Oh, there's something here. Okay. Something here that there's some button that we press in the back. Ah, here. Okay, there's our next gem, and another red ghost. All right, let's get him. Sucking him up here. Ah. Okay, we got him. I guess our ghost sucker isn't really connected, but I mean, honestly, I think we've gotten them all. Who else do we have to get in the mansion? I mean, at this point, 14 seconds, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five. Got it, got it. Yep. Okay. Finished. <laughs> 95, not bad, not bad. Let's see. Okay, so we've got the ghost sucker. King Boo gave us less coins that time because it was easier to kill him. Okay, that makes sense. All the ghosts here. Okay. There we, so this is still the best way to make money. If you want to maximize coins, that's the way to do it. However, let's now move on. I think it's time we said we were gonna equip the frog outfit, go to the big bad island, guarded fortress here, and then the lava area. So to do that, let's uh, go ahead and equip Peach. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off our outfit here. Turn Luigi off. And let's finish this up with Peach. So Peach is our third and final character. connected connecting okay so let's go ahead and do this i'm going to go ahead and hit start now luigi's mansion start gave us 90 seconds so i think that's what we want to do we want to start with 90 seconds here and then get the seconds bonus so that's what we'll do so start okay time bonus next we're going to fight some of the enemies here This is a big enemy. Oh, wow, that's a big guy. Okay, let's get him. Okay, now Peach is royalty, so she has access to the private hot air balloon. And we are gonna fly on over to the frog outfit, which we put over there. 
So let's get this off. Put the frog outfit on. There we go. So now we can jump and let's go ahead and jump. And this is giving us coins just by jumping, but we said we we're going to use it to defeat the guarded fortress. Okay. Got some coins here by opening the gateway. Let's see, what else do we have here? Some other stuff here. Oh, this is just like a flag to start. What else? Oh, this. Okay. Okay. Killed that enemy there. I think it's now time to jump on over. Oh, we want to award ourselves with the builder outfit. So the builder outfit, I don't really know what the builder outfit does. Oh, by landing hard, it lets you get coins. I think, I think that's what it's doing. Well, we got 13 seconds, 12, 11, 10. Oh, we didn't kill this guy. Killed him, okay, nine, eight. Finish, finish, okay. Let's see what we got here. 91, not bad, not bad. So total time, 117. Yep, we got the big enemies, some of the peach. Okay, that didn't give us a ton of points. Oh, the frog suit gave us a lot of points just by jumping. That was great, okay. Got that enemy at the end, so hey, okay, there we go, 91. And I think it's time to go on over to the final boss. Now, I don't know if I can beat this all in, oh, that was to take a photo, but I don't wanna take a photo. Let's just, let's just start. Okay, so here it is. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. 90 seconds. Timer, give us more time. Jump on over here, get the fire outfit. So I think this lets us shoot fireballs or something. Yeah, so Peach is in the fire outfit. Okay, so first let's uh, kill some of these enemies here. Okay, kill this one here. Okay, now we want to go on this. Okay, there we go. Defeat the dropper here. Got a ton of coins from doing that. Fantastic. Now this here. This is giving us coins. Okay, oh, fell over there. Oh, can't defeat that, that's a ghost. Okay, slide back and forth. Get the thwomp here, so let's get the... Oh wow, his legs just, wow, I just busted this guy's kneecaps. Okay, let's see, what else can we get? So this here, we want to slide back and forth. Oh, man, come on. Wow, we are getting stuck. So there, there is a, a way to control this, to do a controlled slide back and forth. Come on, to knock off the enemies. Ah, there we go. Okay, that was harder than I thought. Okay, so we're, we're knocked out for a little bit, but let's get back on. coins there. Okay, we'll defeat this enemy here. 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12. Got him. Can we get any more? Okay, finish. Let's see. A hundred and forty? What did I do that gave me a hundred and forty? Were we just really efficient? Oh, whoa, what are these 21, 12? Oh, wait, 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 how many, 17, 53 from the big POW boxes. Interesting, okay, good to know. Huh, okay, well, I think we're about time. We have beaten pretty much almost, we've beaten, we've started to work our way through the enemies here. We need to get to Bowser, that's the big one. So let's, let's do it.
This may be our last run, but we'll see how long it takes to defeat Bowser. So let's see. We have to defeat the guards surrounding Bowser first as well. So we have to defeat those. Let's try to maximize coins. So what outfit do we want to be wearing? Oh, we haven't done this outfit. Oh no, I did use that outfit. I just put it back. The B outfit gave us a ton of coins. Where is the B outfit? Let me see. Where did I, oh, okay, here it is. Don't know where I put the B hat. That's gonna be, I need to organize all these out. Ah, there's the B hat, okay. So the B outfit gave us a ton last time. So what I'll do is I, let me put the outfits down here so I don't lose them. Have we killed, are all the enemies dead? Like, oh, there's still like a crab that's alive. We'll start with the crab, kill him. All the other enemies dead. The big bad is dead as well. Yeah, I think we, I think we got it. Okay, let's do this. Start, give us more time. Uh, get the crab. Oh, this is supposed to launch at the crab. Okay, so we launch ourselves the crab. Okay, we got him. Let's see what else we have. We've got like this sliding thing, so. Got that. Uh, oh, there's some like special cake stuff in here. An enemy in the cake. Who would put an enemy in cake? so mean. Give us coins, scan the fruit. So this is like equipping before the mission. Somehow our castle is being invaded by enemies here. Okay, got that one. Is this something? Yeah, so this is a painting here. Let's scan the painting. And now let's fly on the broomstick and work our way over to the other enemies. So we're flying on the broomstick and let's start getting them. Okay, let's get this guy first. I can't tell if this is actually like hitting him. I think, I think we can consider him gone. Okay, got that one. Next, this guy. Got him here. Okay, and this guard. 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12. Can we get this? 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay, call it. Finished. All right, let's see. see how it is because we still also have bowser's airship okay 106 not bad we're, we're doing good on all these runs so lots and lots of individual things obviously 20 from all those enemies there that makes sense i like how it maximizes and shows you the most important things at the top okay there we go let's keep going i think this may be one of our last runs here so let's Let's just put on our standard outfit here. Let's uh, stomp Bowser in the standard Peach outfit. And go ahead and start. Start, extra time. Sit in the throne, okay. I mean, obviously you wanna sit in the throne. Yeah, that's right, that's right, I'm the ruler. Okay, Bowser's airship. This is its own separate thing, so let's steal the Broomstick here, fly around on that. So we took that. We want to defeat some of the enemies here as well. So let's see. Oh, mixed up, there we go. Okay, so this right here gets this pilot out of the way. Now I can be the captain. Look at me, I'm the captain now. Okay, this entire thing does actually open up. So what we wanna do is remove the platforms here. And I mean, do we even have room to open this up? That's my question. Maybe not. Let's get this open here. Can we do it? Okay, we're gonna move this to the floor. Okay, this is wasting a lot of time. We got the POW button here. Let's see, an enemy here, get his hat off, and he's just a Goomba without the hat on. 
Okay, I think we got that. What else? Okay, so we want the hand to collapse and there's something to scan on the hand. Got the, got that one, okay. Have we gotten everything there is to do here? I think so. Okay, so I've taken command of the airship. We have 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, scan, 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 finished. Okay. Okay, 83, not bad. Better than a lot of our other runs. Very nice, very nice. Okay, okay. Lots from the airship commandeering. Okay, yeah, 22 from stealing the ship. I guess that makes sense, because that's the big set. I think it's time for one last go around. I think we've defeated all of the enemies, or most of them at least. And it's time to take on Bowser himself. So, let's get started here. 90 seconds. Plus 30 seconds. Okay, first of all, we're in the castle. We want to defeat the enemies. Okay, so the first step here is to make the fist smash down. Come on, come on. We need the fist up. Fist up. No. Come on. There we go. Giving us more time. 30 more seconds. Question mark block. Stuff to beat Bowser. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we almost got him. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Fall over. Ah! Oh, I keep hitting him back. Ah, there we go, okay. Got him, okay. Now let's, let's clean up shop. I mean, he's still got a few loyal to his cause, but I mean, for the most part, for the most part, we, we've cle we just, this is just cleaning up house now. And uh, this guy over here, let's uh, knock him off there. Yeah, yeah, look at him, look at him fall. Oh, whoops, okay, I'll fix that in a second. Okay. Honestly, I think, I think we've basically gotten it. I mean, now we can just take a ride on his like little swing here. You know, just have some fun because uh, he's no longer in power. I don't see any other enemies here. Uh, I mean, we, we can just kill some of these guys twice. I mean, yeah, I think I think we've killed all of the, the villains here. I have disposed the evil ruler. Gotten some, uh, yeah, how boxy. Oh, there's still one guy here. Killed him. I guess he's dead. Scan the star. There we go. Go back. Oh, oh, there's still one enemy down here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Yeah, there we go. That was a satisfying ending for him. Killed that one. Just get the question mark sign. Yep. More coins. Talk to Mushroom Kingdom guy up here. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, finish. Ooh, we got him. That was our final, yeah, what, was that our best run? 139, that may have been our best run. And for the final run, that makes a lot of sense. And I did a lot of running around and just trying to figure out like what to do with that one. So, oh man, that was a good one. 32 from sliding back and forth on stuff. Bowser, of course, 15. There we go. So that was 139 total. Let's see, 139, 106, 83, oh, 140. So we did like one more coin on that one. 91, 95, 31, 15, 30, 72, 133, 164, 129, 30, or 120, it's just 21, not 121, 36, 59, 51, 60, and 14. So this was our second best run. And for it to be the final run, obviously defeating Bowser was a priority. That makes a lot of sense to me. And with that, I think we've basically summed up. This has been every single one of the Lego Mario sets combined in one massive build. We have used 
every single outfit. We have made a complete mess. We have caused a lot of uh, significant damage to Bowser and his forces. I don't think they'll be returning anytime soon to fight us because, I mean, they're, they're pretty humiliated. We've defeated, I mean, systematically, we have gone through and killed every single person working for Bowser. Uh, man, woman, or child, they're, they're all dead. If they worked for him, if they were in any way affiliated with him, they are gone. We have, we have wiped them off the face of the map. We've even wiped off some of our own because, I mean, I mean, sometimes folks get in the way, so we have to clear out some some destruction over here. But it's all for the greater good. Now, oh, I'm seeing. Is this? Are, is he still loyal to Bowser? Because I don't think we defeated him yet. It may be time for one last run for Lego Mario, because I don't think we ever actually defeated the big spike over there, which is one of the newest sets. So you know what? What we're gonna do? So we're gonna fire at Mario and we're gonna go on a victory tour, you know? This is like once the main boss is destroyed, we, we just have to go through and clean up. We were doing that with Peach, but you know, Peach is the, the, the ruler, she has to retire. She's not gonna do the dirty work herself. So let's get Mario to boot up here, connect over to our app here, and just uh, fight the last bit of the enemies because I think he is the, the last one to kill. So let's connect him up here. I also don't know if we did the slider bit as well. So let's just, let's do it, let's do it, okay. 90 seconds, give ourselves some more time. Killed that, okay, so he's pretty thoroughly dead. I mean, at this point, Mario just, he, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't need to even hurry. He's in no rush, like he, he can just casually walk. I mean, you have some fun with the seesaw, nothing, I mean, nothing much he has to do here. Talk to some folks, go on a raft ride, he's in no rush, you know? Let's make our way over, you know? We can, we can scan things on our way there, so we can like ride this guy over, okay, you know? Get a ride from the local wildlife, I'm sure they don't mind. You know, okay, scan that, and uh, ah, yeah, so big spike, yeah, okay, so let's, um, oh, did he just, I think, I think he just threw something, did he just throw that at me? He did, oh, that is rude, okay, let's kill him. Okay, he, he is dead. There's another, like, bullet bill here, so let's kill him. Oh, wow, that was a pretty devastating final, final hit. Got that one. Okay, there's, like, a cat Goomba here. Okay, let, let's just kill this one. You know, I think, I think we've talked to everyone. Let's go on a victory tour. Let's just talk to some folks. So we talk to you, talk to you. Oh, there's, like, a little thing hiding here, so, um... Three, okay, very nice. Uh, what are you still doing here? I think you're a servant of, of Bowser. Let's get you out of here, come on. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. All right, let's just, I mean, I think everyone's dead. We'll go around the kingdom, uh, accept our thanks from everybody. So let's go around, you know, put some question mark blocks, swing on the swing. You know, this is like the, the epilogue scene. This is like the epilogue of Lord of the Rings. You're just kind of relaxing. You say, you go around, you talk to your friends, sit in the throne, Bowser's gone now, so we are, Gonna go back, reset the throne here. So the throne is reset. We can put his like corpse just hung up in front of our throne to to let people know not to mess with us in the future. Give ourselves more time because we, we could use more time to meet folks, you know? Talk to some mushroom folks. We'll jump up and down on this jumpy platform because why not? We can, you know? Let's uh, talk to some other folks here. Say hello, you know? Uh, oh, there's a block here that we didn't get. Okay, so that's a block here. Question mark over there. Let's see, who else can we talk to? Oh, let's just go home. Mario's home. Another question mark block that we can scan. This one, I mean, we're just having fun at this point. I mean, there's no enemies, there's no nothing, so we can go, like, on this slide type thing here. Get the question mark. And I think it is soon time. 14 seconds left. I mean, is there any no one else to kill? That's the thing. No one else to kill. I mean, let's just open the door here. Get a golden bone, talk to a dog, and then yeah, we're done, we're done. Call it good, there you go. That was the victory run. A hundred fourteen for the victory run, that's not bad. That's pretty good for a victory run. Big spike right there, that was our last enemy. And yeah, most of these are just talking to folks. So there, there we have it. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. I think that may be the most stuff that we scanned in one go. Okay, I think this is it. Finally, we have finished our entire run. This has been a really fun time setting up. I hope you've enjoyed staying along and just 
for the playing adventure. I do have a lot of resetting work to do. Bowser ships on the floor. We've got like a flying outfit right here. I don't know where that goes. So many things to go, but you know what? The kingdom is safe. We have freed the kingdom from Bowser's rule and made it such that the if thousands of generations afterwards will remember this day when we killed literally everybody associated with him. So we shouldn't we shouldn't have to face him again. I mean, he's just he's just collapsed at this point. And I think we, we've saved the kingdom, everybody. So well done uh, for me. And I had a great time playing with these Lego Super Mario sets. Now I'm really curious. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of the track building system? Actually being serious here, I'm actually pretty curious what folks think about this system of play because it definitely is a lot of fun. I think that it is fairly repetitive in gameplay. I mean, obviously, as you could probably tell in the video, there was a lot of repetition, but I do like how every single set does something a little bit different. Like every single set has a gimmick and it is usually one that works really well. Like this one is probably one of my favorites, the, the Reznor Knockdown, just because of the really interesting way to kind of cause this to spin. And then you have this whole platform to knock them over. And then you have this button piece here to try to activate the question mark. That's one of my favorites. This is just so satisfying to do. So this is probably one of my favorites as well. And I, I like how you can actually, I mean, the goal of it is to unfurl the bridge. That's a pretty satisfying motion. And overall, I'm a pretty big fan of the way that most of these Super Mario sets ended up. Although I, like most people, really feel that it is high time that we actually get some actual minifigure sets. I don't know why LEGO has been very, very adamant on not giving us minifigure scale Mario sets. I think that that is the next natural evolution of where the theme should be going. Obviously, this is a really cool system. I do actually like it a lot for what it is. I think I actually like this more than the average person because I know I know there's a lot of people who really don't like the tracks, uh, the, I guess this whole system of play and just really want LEGO to just finally give us sets, which yeah, I understand, but it's been fun. I also don't really know what else they can do because I mean, I don't play a lot of Mario games, so maybe there's stuff I'm not realizing, but I feel like we're pretty covered. I think the fact here that we were able to set up an entire track featuring Bowser as the final boss and starting over at Princess Peach's castle over there, I mean, what else do you need? I mean, obviously all the stuff in the middle is great, but at the end of the day, those are the two big ones that you really need from a system like this. And I would love it if the Lego Super Mario theme will take an opportunity to reinvent itself and to give us something a little bit new. Kind of similar to what, say, like Harry Potter does or Ninjago does every few years, which is give us a brand new type of play, a brand new building system, something unique for the theme. I would love to see something unique for LEGO Super Mario, and I think that with the movie coming out very soon, it's high time that we actually just get new minifigure scale Mario sets. I think the timing is perfect and it would be great to have it reinvent itself, even if not this year, the next year. That'd be a perfect time because obviously with the movie, a lot of things have changed in the Mario world. Honestly, that is about all that I have to say. That was pretty much a summary. I'm just going ahead and starting to pack up all these sets here, but this was a really fun time to play around with. I think that this is probably going to be like the only time I will ever take every single track base set out and put them out in the layout. So I certainly hope LEGO would do something new with the theme soon, but this was a fun ride. And I think I appreciate them a lot more after having actually played with literally every single one. I made a point to try to play with every single feature. And I think that that really did make a difference in terms of my enjoyment of the overall track system. Previously, I was just kind of mixed on it. I mean, I was collecting all of them because I, I actually was collecting them to do this video. I knew I wanted to do a video on all of them combined, but I wasn't really sold on the system until actually playing around with this. And I was like, yeah, okay, this was actually a lot of fun to just play around with and to attack folks and to kind of run through the course and whatnot. So overall, good time. And I'm very curious to hear what folks think about this entire system as a whole, because it definitely is very controversial. Some people like it, some people do not. I think it's high time for minifigures. But of course, let me know in the comments below what you think. I hope you've enjoyed this video combining every single one of the LEGO Super Mario track base sets. These are, the other thing is these are pretty expensive. So I mean, it is definitely a big, big amount of, I guess, financial undertaking to be able to collect every single one of these and to put them all together like this. But I think it was pretty worth it at the end of the day. I mean, this was so much fun to play around with and put together. 
All right, and with that, we have summed up our look at every single LEGO Super Mario set ever made. I hope you enjoyed this fun course layout build. I know this was a very long video, so thank you for sticking around to this time. If you are still here and watching, comment down below. Let me know if you're still watching at this timestamp. And thank you all so, so much for tuning in and enjoying a brand new Duckbricks video. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming away very soon. And well, right now, I'm off to see the Mario movie. So I'll see y'all later. Thanks and bye. Bye for now.